Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you are not new, then welcome back. So I have a video on my braces for you guys today. I have already posted a braces video, but it's on my other channel. Sheen Gains, it's a braces story time video. Go ahead and check that video out. I'm going to drop the link for that in the description box. This one today is an Elastics 101 video. So for those of you that are wearing braces, some of you guys may already know what elastics are. Some of you guys may not know what elastics are, but whether you know it or not, elastics may be in your near future. So, elastics basically are like mini rubber bands that help to adjust your teeth. So yes, braces help to fix your teeth, right? But elastics expedite the process and they can kind of like bring, like bridge gaps or like open up your, your jawline a little bit, like, you know, just make little adjustments. And um, so I currently have to wear elastics. Right now, um, I know in the US the elastics are the elastics go by animal names so, so some people may have like zebra or bear or turtle and stuff like that but for some reason the one that my orthodontist gave me is just orthodontic elastics and um there's no animal name so the best i can tell you guys is that my elastics are one fourth of an inch heavy non-latex orthodontic elastics so this is the little bag that it came in and this is what they look like. They are, ooh, I just want this to focus. Yeah. These are very, very tiny and very, very tight, but there are different sizes and some elastics are bigger than others and some stretch way more than others. Mine are very tiny and they're very tight and they don't have that much stretch to them. So the reason that I have to wear elastics is that my um, upper teeth and my bottom teeth on the right side of my mouth do not touch. On my left side, the upper and the lower part do touch. But for this one, when I smile, it's like they're supposed to touch each other and they don't. So my elastics are worn in a V shape. It's in order to bring that together. So I'm going to show you guys how I put them in right now. I actually was given a, uh, a little pick to use to put the elastics in. This is how the dental assistant, assistant showed me how to put them in in the first place. But honestly, when I got home that day, it was so difficult for me to put them in. I could not figure it out to save my life. Like, it took me maybe like 15 minutes per side to get the elastics in. I had to watch so many videos and try over and over again. It was just insanely hard. And um, I decided to get rid of the pig and do it with my fingers. And life has been so much easier since then. And so I do this. That's for that side and I need another band for the other side. My elastics are worn on the third tooth on each side and I always have to count you know before I put them on so I can make sure that I get the third tooth so whenever you see me touch my teeth that's me like kind of counting <laughs> to make sure that I hook the, the elastics onto the right hook so for this one it's like there there you go and then over and then down hook onto that one yeah oh I got some like hair okay so got my elastics in like that and uh, they were so painful at first so there are parts of the braces process that are so like painful and elastics were definitely difficult for me to get used to in the beginning partially because the elastics that I have are heavy they're not light they're not you know medium they're not light medium um, this is kind of up there in the ranks in terms of like how tight the elastics are and so in the beginning, when I put them in, like I would be talking like this, I would talk like this all the time because it hurts so bad to pull my teeth apart. And um, you know, when you put them in, you feel the pressure. So they're in a V shape and it's like, you feel the pressure of the elastics bringing your teeth together. It takes some time for you to get used to wearing them to the point where you're able to kind of talk 
as close to normal as possible you know you don't feel the pressure as much it's not you know you don't feel the pressure as much like it's not as painful over time but the only way to build up that pain tolerance and get used to having the elastics in is by wearing them consistently now wearing them consistently was stressed so much by the dental assistant when she first put them in and i was like it's not a big deal like I'll, I'll wear it all the time you know i'm supposed to wear it why not but i've realized that it's definitely easy to forget to put them in because you have to remove the elastics before every single meal and every single snack so you can't necessarily just pop a cheese it in your mouth here and there or chew on a piece of ice you have to remove the elastics to do that so whenever you have to take them out so often it's easier to just kind of like eat and then go about your business and forget to put them back in and also because it's so painful in the beginning like no one wants to experience this level of pain and discomfort so you kind of like rather do without them so when you take them out after that first meal or so you're kind of like eh, i want to put them back in and then you just continue going about your day but honestly it will forever be painful if you don't wear them consistently because you and your teeth will never get used to having that pressure and so that's definitely one thing that i've learned about having elastics they also snap fairly easily there are times where i have tried to kind of just throw something in my mouth you know just a snack on without having to take the elastics out but nine times out of ten the elastics have popped on me when i tried to do that and it can be painful sometimes because it's like a rubber band being popped in your mouth you know and if you like open your mouth or laugh too hard or yawn too hard nine times out of ten they're gonna snap so that's also something to know about el having elastics but for those of you that do wear light elastics or your bands are a bit bigger or have more stretch to them you won't necessarily you may not have the same struggles that i have you know with wearing heavy elastics one fourth of an inch and also honestly it's very important that you guys follow the instructions given to you by your orthodontist and wear them whenever your orthodontist said says that you're supposed to be wearing these elastics like some people may only need to wear them at night side note um i i may sound really congested right now that's because i am you know with the changing of the weather and all of that congestion has definitely hit so please excuse that um but back to what i was saying uh it's very important to follow your guidelines given to you by your orthodontist now if you choose not to wear these elastics just know that you're gonna have to wear the elastics for a longer period of time so you're just gonna hold yourself back on your treatment plan so you know say for instance your orthodontist says wear these elastics 22 hours a day and the other two hours a day is allocated for when you're brushing your teeth or you're eating you need to make sure you wear them for 22 hours a day you know because next time you get your check your checkup the orthodontist will be able to tell that you haven't been wearing it another thing regarding elastics is that you need to make sure to change them at least once a day to be honest you can change them after every meal if you like but i try to change mine at least once a day because the elastics stretch over time so you want to make sure that the amount of pressure that you're supposed to have in your mouth for your teeth to be adjusted and go in whichever direction that they're supposed to be going in you want to make sure that the elastics always have that same amount of pressure that's needed something else regarding elastics is that when you put them in they honestly tend to rub against the inside of your mouth and that's also painful it's very it's not the most comfortable thing and there was a period of time where it like rubbed my mouth raw and um but it got to the point where it was really uncomfortable and rinsing your mouth with salt water and um keeping wax with you at all times you know those can both help you deal with the discomfort that you may feel it's also important that you travel with a pack of elastics with you anytime you leave your house because if they snap on the road and you don't have any elastics to replace it with then you are screwed until you get back home and can replace them one more thing is that yeah, people may say that yeah you know i really want these braces off and i want to speed up my treatment so let me double up on the elastics to make it go faster that doesn't work don't do that a lot of the time doubling up on your elastics can apply way more pressure than what your your jaws and your teeth can handle it can have a negative impact on your braces treatment 
and it, you'll experience regression instead of progression. So those are just a few little tips I wanted to throw at you guys and um, hopefully this will help some of you guys learn about elastics and also let those of you that are expecting to have to wear elastics, you know, be prepared ahead of time, know what to expect. And for those of you that, you know, either want more information or need clarification or have questions, don't be afraid to ask them stuff. Throw those questions down below. So hit me up. If you guys have any more questions or anything, or if you guys want me to kind of discuss something else regarding braces, let me know. And on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, in a rise up.